Hello there, just a quick update today. I finally started to actually make the circuitry right here. What I have is a 74, what is it, a 74238, which is a 3 to 8 demuxer, which I use to figure out which, uh, which dial I want to address, and I actually ruined my um, miles per hour stepper motor when I was, I didn't know if they were stepper motors or servos, so I tried to open this one up and I ended up damaging a coil, but hopefully I can find a replacement for that. But for now I can use these three gauges or maybe swap out the stepper motor from one of these gauges with the miles per hour gauge. But what I have set up here is just that demuxer, which basically takes in from the serial port, which isn't connected yet, it's just hardwired. And then it takes that and outputs which one it wants to control, and then it goes to a triac, which is basically a solid state relay. And you can, it's just four transistors each, and then there's eight transistors total because there's two different lines for each, uh, each part of the stepper motor. There's the two different coils on the stepper motor. So I have one triac for each part of the stepper motor, and then two diodes because for some reason the triax like a floating they like floating whatever you want to call it I, I can't think right now but so when I have this grounded the current can flow through backwards and that will turn these off so eventually I'm gonna have more of them which means I'll turn off the ones I'm not addressing and then I'll turn on only the one I am addressing which the DMUX will take care of for me and the triax will allow me to use them as if they're relays. One of the things I do want to show is that I actually got the lights working. So I'm going to go and turn off my lights real quick here. Uh, and turn on a power supply. There we go. So I had to make some hard direct connections inside of here because all the some of the different sections were lit separately so I made them all into one big thing so now there's only two connections on the outside which you can't can't see in the dark right now but I could go and run some sample code my code has been kinda of stripped down right now so it only runs for 10 seconds so at clicking is it just does a hard reset so I'll compile some code again um, <laughs> I'm actually using the wrong dial right now so uh, I've, I've been playing with some other dials, which that shows that those actually work. But now I'm going to go and uh, swap that back real quick here, if I can. Hopefully I'm not delaying this video too much. I'm tired, so you can't blame me for having a really stupid video. Hopefully these aren't backwards. They probably will be. Are they? Well, I completely missed... A completely missed connection. Alright. Sorry for the delay. But now we should be able to work. So everything's just fine. It does a little calibration reset at the start. So now if I go and build stuff, there it is working in the dark. So I think this thing turned out really cool. And do that fluke, you actually got to see. The other gauge is working as well, which will hopefully be addressable tomorrow. But, I hope you like this project so far, and I hope to start doing a little bit more for this. And I really want to get that miles per hour gauge replaced. I don't know if a local Porsche dealer actually has just that motor, because I don't want to buy a whole unit just, for, just to pull out one different motor. And it stopped there, but that's because my code stopped. It's hard-coded to run for a certain amount of time so that's not a bug although I'm still still trying to work on my code and perfect it because this is one of my first threaded FreeBSD drivers so it's kind of a mess right now I, I'm trying to use callbacks and I don't think callbacks are what I want because I get kernel panics here and there which is clearly not good but yeah th this project has been pretty much driving me insane my entire my entire desk area has been turned into a complete clutter mess where I've been pulling all my projects and running lines. I actually have the lights on here driven by an external power supply and then I have 
the actual demuxer run by USB power, and then I have the actual connection, the actual stepper motor controller being run by the serial port. Uh, I can't get enough power off the serial port to run the LEDs, and I also can't run the... Maybe I could run the chip off the serial port, but I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. I think this is only a 3.3 to 7 volts or something like that, but I could always put a 7805 on there or something. But I'm really starting to ramble, so I'm just going to let this video go, so I hope, I hope you like it.